Okay, now if you want to change these border colors, it is very easy to do. All you need to do is go uh, click on your master template, right mouse click, and go into open copy and editor. The reason you want to use open copy and editor instead of open an editor is because if you open an editor, you will change that template and any other template that is associated with that one. So if you have other sequences that use that template, uh, those will be changed as well. So you want to do open copy and editor. So let's click on that. And you want to change the name. So we are going to change that border to yellow. So we type in yellow. And we can remove that copy and hit save. Once you're inside motion you will see that the new name has been changed so this is the copy that we created in Final Cut. So whatever changes we make here will go under the copy name that we created. Next you click on project and inside project I have a group called adjust border color. And underneath that you have a layer called border color adjust. You click on that and inside of that you will see a shape, style, and underneath that you will have a fill color. All you need to do is simply click on the fill color and make your changes. So whatever changes you make will be reflected on your borders. I added a link to all these borders so whatever you change in here will be added to the borders. So we are going to make this a yellow. And once you get the color that you want, just close on this and hit save. By just hitting save, you will save this template and it would automatically get updated inside of Final Cut. Okay, now we're back in Final Cut. And as you can see, the change that we did, the new copy has been replaced with the new one that we created, yellow border. And the uh, changes have also been affected here. So now we have the yellow border. Also, when you save the yellow copy of the master template, you will see it in here as well. So if you want to do a yellow one and then make a copy and a blue one and then a green one or whatever, all those changes will reflect in here. Also, and when you render your master motion template, and if you, if you do not see a motion blur in the final render, just make sure you go into Sequence, Settings, render control and make sure always use best quality when rendering movies is selected. That just makes sure that your motion blur is rendered. Okay, thank you and uh, have a good day.